to Leeds Fest! Welcome to Leeds Fest! Welcome to Leeds Fest! Best camp! Best camp! Best camp! Welcome to Leeds Fest! Best camp! Best camp! 2023! Welcome to Leeds Fest! Welcome to Leeds Fest! Best camp! Best camp! 2023! Best camp! Best camp! Best camp! 2023! Welcome to Leeds Fest! Welcome to Leeds Fest! Best camp! Best camp! 2023! Welcome to Leeds Fest! Best camp! 2023! Thank you to our executive producers on Patreon. Without you, we couldn't do this. Join now using the link below for extended videos and early access. So we're really bringing it back to basics this year. Please excuse the mess here. We haven't done a Leeds Fest like this for a real long time. We're camping in general. We're getting the shuttle bus. We're really taking it back to 2014. It doesn't feel fully 2014, so let's change that now. Right, okay, so I don't feel quite as confident now, but it is what it is. It didn't fit then, and it certainly doesn't fit now. Let's go and get the bus. Morning! Morning! How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I am well excited for this weekend. How about you? I'm also very excited. So, fun fact for you, I did this in 2009, and we got two buses with all our stuff. Terrible. It was awful. Are you excited? I'm proper, proper <laughs> excited, man, to get on this bus. Got the ticket here. What? They've come a long way, mate. I remember it used to be on paper back in my day. Bloody hell. We should have brought a beer. Yeah, we, we did. definitely should have brought a beer for this. How much did this cost? <laughs> uh, it was like seven quid, I think. Do you know what? That was a breeze. Cheap, cheerful, direct. Brilliant. Can recommend. Good morning, folks. You join me en route to a Leeds Festival on a dreary Wednesday morning, and I've got the full, the full Audi A3 experience. We're in the, um, we're in the 2014 Audi today. Not to 60. Yeah, it can do it. Well, do you know what? Wednesday morning. I don't know what time it is. Maybe like 11 o'clock. Pretty quiet, to be fair, which is quite surprising. Feeling good, Ben. Feeling great, mate. Had a lovely commute. By myself, well, without you and Valley. I bet that was nice because you're gonna spend the next five days with us. So, no, Ben. What? Ben, it needs to go what? around the crate. It's been a while since I've brought this much stuff to a festival, and I haven't missed it. It'll be worth it when we get there and everything's done in one trip. I'm the four bag wonder this weekend. Keep walking, please. So the dog didn't detect any Mawams Because of course there is no Mawams We do have a funny anecdote to tell you about though In relation to that From our security checkpoint when we got here So we'll tell you that on day two So you keep watching <laughs> Well I'll tell you what Here we are No problem at all Absolute Loads breeze Loads of fucking room Ladies and gentlemen welcome For the first time Wow To Purple Camp Here we are We've got a spot we're going to set up and we've got two new camp members arriving over the course of the weekend so we need to secure enough space for them so we need to go and get a gazebo quick time you didn't find that too easy ben i do you know what i struggled man i've overpacked it was a piece of piss hello now we're off to our friends fat franks to get a gazebo because that's integral when you're at leeds fest r.i.p the second tree that used to be our landmark and now she's been severed but one remains and will always remain in our hearts. So while they've gone to get the gazebo, so we can really secure some space, I'm doing the preliminary. I'm going to set up the tents right now as basic as I can, just to kind of get the overall space. Thank God they got my memo about the mirror ball. Benz is up. Benz is a great tent. Love this tent. It's just too awkward to carry nowadays, especially when you've got a tent like this. This just looks like a basic cheap shirt because it's not got the cover on, but this has done me all year. Real sentimental value to this tent now. Like, it's a £30 Decathlon Quetra tent. There's nothing special about this tent whatsoever. It's done me perfectly all summer. I truly love this tent. If it was just blackout, it would be the best tent. Ready to get our stuff? Mate, yeah, I love stuff. I'm ready to get it all the time. We got everything we need from Fat Frank. I've got this massive gazebo. It's literally breaking my shoulder, but didn't have to bring it in the car. Well, I think that as a general setup for a camp is pretty good, you know. Oh, well done, mate. <laughs> well done. Come on, mate, it's too early for that. <laughs> Welcome back. 
Oh man alive, that was fucking, that was so hard, my face was twitching. It's all well and good, Fat Frank's, you know, giving us this, but I can't really get into it, like, it's a bit hard. I got you sorted, mate. Yeah? We got the multi tool. No way! The yeah, the multi tool. -tool. <laughs> I'll sort that out, mate, no problem. Fucking hell. This is gonna be great. I'm, I'm buzzing for this now. God, get me a drink. Right, we have got a blast from the past at the camp this weekend. And we need to keep it covered because we want to have an organic time. But in the spirit of bringing back this series, I want to bring back our original flag that we used to use back in the day. We made this in my back garden before I even knew you, Jake. Very good. All right, there she is. She flies again. Oh, welcome to Leeds Fest. Best camp 2023. Doing it properly, as you've seen. This tent has been all over with me. This is maybe its 10th outing, and I have a very sentimental attachment to it, but it could do with being a bit bigger this weekend. I'm not going to lie. It's half 3 p.m. Everything's done. Everything's set up, and we're just waiting now to go for some food because I haven't had any food and we need to have a drink but this dickhead is pissing about hurry up Ben because I want to drink because we're at Leeds Festival and I want to dart through it's 2014 now that looks banging these folks at the southern fried chicken were very very nice this looks great I really need this right we bought this tent from Fat Franks it's a Volkswagen one which is good because that's a good type of car and this is purely just for putting our stuff in so it looks like a Volkswagen and this was the cheapest one they had and I'm surprised because it's quite a nice one. Yeah, it's an upside down as well. <laughs> Pretty good lineup. Aside from Imagine Dragons. Why was it Imagine Dragons booked, man? I've made us a period correct playlist full of bangers from when we first started doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it'd be a bit louder than that. There we go. That'll work, that works. Still a very good. I'm already started on my second camp. Oh, what a, what a silly dickhead. Right, so I'm at a bit of a disadvantage against the lads here with their elongated dark fruits cans. However, what I lack in length, I make up for in variety and class. So I've just had a lovely California IPA. We're now going on to the North Brewing Sputnik. So we're just saying how nice and chill it is and how, you know, real it is being out here. Them lot are obviously in guests. They don't really care about giving the viewers what they want. They just want to have like a pampered time. Look at the state of Chuck and Danny's outfits, man. Have you ever seen? I dressed in like 2014 style as a joke. Look at Chuck here. Man's dressed like a fucking, um, what are they called? Rugby player. No, man's dressed like a fucking um, tea cake. <laughs> Tell me you don't know how to have fun. Without telling me, you don't know how to have fun. Who oh, I've seen American Pie, <laughs> beer pong, play beer pong at clubs. Over engineer having like, a drink. Can't just enjoy each other's Sorry. company. It has to be like I, we are now going to use the um, beer pong. Like just sit and chill, enjoy each other's company, and let the festival naturally happen. It's mental, isn't it? It's like are we at a music festival? We're at a corporate retreat. I guarantee, 15 minutes ago when they were setting up camp, they probably did like an icebreaker. Right, I am. I'm dying for a piss. So we're gonna take this premium snack. Pringles are not cheap. They all know this. There's sometimes payday, even, some some might say sometimes a payday, a payday snack. Payday, payday snack. Pringles are a payday snack. Payday treat. Got one? I'm alright, mate. Oh, yeah, I'll have one. Oh, oh come, come on. on. <laughs> Nature calls. Now I'm just going in this tent for a second. Alright, Rob. Oh, right, I'll see you later, bud. Alright then. Oh, there's someone else in there. Oh, why is your pants down? I was just thinking Sweet. to clean. <laughs> <laughs> These Pringles are not very good. They're too juicy for one. What do you mean they're too juicy? How can they be too juicy? They've just got loads of juice going on. What do you mean loads of juice? Anyway, I'm going to leave this tube over there. May it serve whatever purpose it needs in the next slice. But well, they are shy time. Jake, what are you doing in that tent? I'm speaking. To an old colleague, his name rhymes with G's B. What has happened get to away, them? Get away from so me. My, my Converse are a bit fucked because they've been to a lot of festivals, but my foot's 
in here. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. Now, as I've just been in the tent, I've had a little accident. We've had a little breakage. <laughs> this is just broken. What is that? It's some cat food. You brought your mum's lunch by mistake. <laughs> Don't look at me, man. Well, it's, it's not vegan. <laughs> and I'm not hungry, personally. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of that. Here's a question for you. <clears throat> when did Lee's Festival get rid of the long drops? We were just in purple now. And I, I can't see a long drop anywhere. So I want to know, when, when did they get rid of them? Cheers, young boy. Cheers. Cheers, young boy. Yeah. Cheers, amigo. Cheers. Oh, one of those things is not like the other. Content warning time. Look away now if you don't want to see the dark fruits coming straight back out of the hole it went down. What is going on? Chips, chicken and chips. I was going to be sick, and then I got over it. Yeah, well done. I thought I'll kneel down anyway. And what's this bag full of? Cat food. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's full of cat food. I was about we zip this up. Yeah, and don't speak about that ever again. And we'll give it to Chris tomorrow. <laughs> I nearly went and I was never sick. Hey, congratulations, Rob. First sick of the weekend. Wouldn't we have it any other way? <laughs> Best camp 2023. I just can't wait for it to get dark, man. I want it to get dark. Yeah, Hurry up. When things get dark, it gets a little bit fucky. A little bit fucky. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Leeds Fest, it's fucking dead this year. There's no one here. It's empty. Right, we're faced with a dilemma here. Shall we... Have an impromptu fan meet up at Piccadilly. Oh, that'd be nice. Or should we not do that? Oh, that'd be Because it gets us into trouble when we do that. But it's always nice to meet the fans. Does he get us into trouble now or later? Because, because... Hey, I'll tell you what, who cares? Right, I'm not being funny, all right? I'm but not we're the, we're the real deal here, right? I'm not happy about this whatsoever. We've announced our meet up at 11 p.m. tonight. And what's fucking Danny and Chucky and Raz done? But they've announced a meet up at the same place a minute ahead of us. What? And they don't have any badges. Do you know yeah. why they don't have any badges? Because they don't care about you no, viewers. They don't. Fuck, you fuck these doing? boys, man. 10.59, man. What a slap in the <laughs> That's face. That's a really funny what one. A it's not funny. It's not funny. Hey, here's a pro tip for everyone on the, uh, on the interweb. Best lemonade you can buy. Oh, Just as Daddy used to spring. A, that's quite strong that and what you do is you do your sev you, you get your we'll just get the precipice. For this meet and greet to be a success, we need to be fashionably late. They're gonna yeah. go there and mop up like the, 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 the eager, uh, yeah, the eager they're beavers. Eager, and they've arrived too early and here we are and we spotted them, so fuck them, and we're gonna do this meet up the right we've, way. We've seen them being on time. Right, so Leeds Fest Worst Camp are over there at the ice cream van, not interacting with any of the viewers. They're yeah. not here for you. They're stood having an ice cream and then we're not approaching anyone. Right, they're fucking off because they can't be asked even walking to front of Piccadilly to say hello to you lot. Unbelievable. Remember that. Remember who, imagine, remember who cares. Imagine not wanting to see the people. Welcome to me, the best class 2023. DJ, I'm Lemmy. We made this top celebrate having beers with the boys at Leeds Fest 2023. GPD TV at Piccadilly. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome to Leeds Fest. Welcome to Leeds Fest. Best class 2023. Welcome to Leeds Fest. Right, so imagine Dragons, terrible band, terrible band. So to keep you a little bit entertained, through one of the worst bands touring today. I've got you a lovely tech deck. Start doing some magic. That'll keep me entertained. And yes. you know what? When they're on, when are they on? When they're on, I'm gonna be. You're gonna see me doing some moves with this. Some mad kick. Thank you so much. No, I want to see Welcome to Leeds Fest. Best class 2023. Welcome to Leeds Fest. Best class 2023. Best class 2023. Best class 2023. Welcome to Leeds Fest. Well, thanks everyone for turning up to the no notice TPD TV meet and greet. We love and appreciate you all. I'm out of badges and I'll see you all tomorrow because we're going to have a nice early night, I think. The real deal. Good morning. So it's the morning after the meet up yesterday. Obviously, that's how, that's how time works. I need to freshen up. Where's my baby wipes? I need to get a sleeping bag. 
<laughs> What's your setup? Just a blanket, but it's not it's not cutting it, mate. Two square bars for the first time ever. Two squares in one frame. There you go. Let's enjoy them. It's been a while since we've had a campsite cheer. Do you remember these? Uh, what is it though? Where people would just, I mean that was a pretty whack one, but people used to just start cheering and it would just go across the campsite. Camera in your face for first thing at day. <laughs> this is laying for you. Yeah. You were doing some weird maneuvers last night, mate. Doing it, you were doing some weird no. thing last night, my boy. Come join the squad, we're having a right party out here. Ben's got, Ben's got the speaker on. Since Eggy's not here, yeah. we're gonna have to bring him here in spirit with a Ryan Eagland bite. Give us your best Ryan Eagland new teeth bite. <laughs> Nice one, Eggy. Pitiful. Pitiful. Why would I put the effort in if no one else? Not you, I mean oh, the right. camp. The whole path is now just tents. People have just put there. I guess people were arriving last night, like three in the morning, and now they've just camped in the path. But fair enough. We're heading to the car to get some provisions and to pick up our new campmate. It's like, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. The camp's gonna be expanding over the course of the weekend. And our first new recruit is here. Ben, Mr. Overpack. Right, mate, so we've got a variety of local ales. Jute Session IPA. We're keeping it session with the Sputnik North Brewing. It's got a bit tropical, you'll like this one, it's in America. The California IPA. And the, when you're getting your IPAs, guys, don't go crazy, keep it session. I got these Stella Artois. Here he is, what the big man. shagger himself. <laughs> and he's looking fresh as well, man. How's it going? Good, good mate, how are you? Yeah, good. Yeah. Good commute? Yeah. You ready to have a good time? Yeah. So, this is a washing line. <laughs> what do you want me to tell you about it? It's a fucking washing line. It's meant to dry your clothes. Why are they wet? Well, they're not wet yet, but I'm, to be fair, I don't really know why I put this on. I'll tell you why I put this on. Isn't that a nice t-shirt, guys? It is nice. You know what I'm saying? It's a nice t-shirt, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get a shower right now because I feel a bit dirty. Look, back in the day, I wouldn't have showered. I'd have just dry shampooed shit, but I'm an old man now. I need to, be, I need to feel clean. <laughs> yeah. No, don't put your tongue out. It's like, like a that. fountain, isn't it? I don't want it to be like a fountain. So I've got my lovely little beard trimmer just to get rid of the just to get rid of the fuss. I would say this is a tradition, but it's happened one year. But I always like to get a new new garment to wear on now. What do I pick really set tonight? It's look fresh. Everyone was asking where I got that Valentino Rossi shirt from at Boomtown. It was Glass Onion in Sheffield. Found the goods? Yeah, I can't see it yet. Okay, okay. We're doing mail tonight, but we've got to secure them. Right, so Lee's Fest has put a lot of work into ensuring the campsites are safe this year. They've um, got rid of vapes, they've got rid of fires. They've not got rid of bad grammar though. That toilet's there does not need an apostrophe, so I'm going to remedy that now. We pulled into the to the like box office car park, and we're sat chilling, and we're all having a few drinks. And the security guy comes over to us. We're having a good chat, and I made a couple of 9/11 jokes to him, and he didn't laugh. And we offered him a, a Budweiser, you know, drop a bud. He's like, oh, I can't have a drink. Blah blah blah. Anyway, nice guy, nice interaction. Five minutes later, two like supervisors come over. I'm sat in front seat of Ben's car. I was like, can we have a word with you? So I'm like, oh, fuck, you know. They've the got me. The 9-11 joke really didn't land. Because <laughs> they want to speak to me specifically. So I go, I like, we go away from the car and he goes, our mate, our security, the security guys just come over and told us that you've got marijuana. <laughs> so I'm like, what? I was like, absolutely not. Like, you know, we'll work with you for whatever you need. Like, if you need to, if you need to search us, like, we can't really be asked, but we'll obviously oblige. It's a clean camp, this. It's a clean squad. She's so like, if you've got enough for personal use, that's fine. I was like, no, li like, I literally don't. And he didn't laugh. And we offered him a, a Budweiser. We offered him a Budweiser. A Bud. Oh. We said, do you want a Bud? <laughs> We're drinking Budweiser. Bridie says, do you want a Bud? He's thought, 
cannabis <laughs> and gone and snitched on his fucking to his boss. You're a drunky bastard, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Honestly, mate, I was I was actually a bit scared at first. I was like, what is the punishment for making a 9-11 joke? <laughs> you get put in the book at school, don't you? What are we saying? Oh, he's on the spot now, isn't he? He's frozen up. Eh? He was mouthing off, sat down there. Who's got a cat? No one, mate. It's illegal. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> she uses it. No, I'm not going to implicate you here. No, I'm joking. <laughs> we get a picture. Hey, guess yeah. what? Guess what they're doing at camp? I'm boring. Playing fucking beer pong again. Oh they're playing God. beer pong again. Dinner time. It's a big pickle in a bag. This pickle is so salty that this one pickle contains five servings. They do like a sour one as well. Like a oh, war edge one. Stinks. Oh, it's a taste dragon. <laughs> I can hear every chew. It's not the best way to consume a pickle, but fundamentally, it's a pickle and pickles are nice. Fundamentally. What were we expecting? It's in a bag. Advertised as a pickle. Yeah, that is what it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is, it's five servings and it's vegan. <laughs> <laughs> five bites. I'll just tidy up edges for you. It's consistent with that, isn't it? Never yeah. found a boxer that will like, cover his ass. Boxers that will cover his ass. <laughs> Ooh, what? Right then. Yes. Ready for work? <laughs> God, that's great. Have you oh, I've never seen the back. How nice is that? So not only have I found like a vegan place, but they did loads of like um, extras for me. It's really nice that. You need more vegan options, man. I don't know what the arena's like, but the uh, campsite food, we are struggling out here, come on. This festival's very quiet this year in terms of footfall, or at least it feels that way. So what we're gonna do, to support some new artists and encourage exploration, we're each gonna choose a random artist from the weekend at random using the Leeds Fest app. Wouldn't it be better if we had like them all written down on pieces of paper? It would be better. Oh, cool. Let's do that. Then. Out of a bag. Yeah, let's do that then. And I went through the trouble of doing that and I forgot to bring the bag. <laughs> Shy FX on the Radio 1 dance stage. Do you know what? I'm happy with that. I think that's okay. Sound good? I mean, I've not looked at my schedule yet, but that should Sound be fine. Good? Some of that EDM were. Uh, well, let's see who Shy FX clashes with. Mm, Imagine Dragons. No! no! We need to see Imagine Dragons. Maybe we flat up. What's the contingency? Go again. Grandma's house on the BBC introducing stage. Okay. MC Gemby Oladipo, 3 pm Saturday on the alternative stage. Alright. Not really. Kathy Keo on the Climate Live bus stage. Smashing stereotypes and breaking boundaries. That's at 2.15. <laughs> Jessie Jo Stark, Festival Republic stage, 20 past three. I've heard of her. You're not gonna believe it. Go on. Clashes with MC Gemby Holiday. No. <laughs> MC Gemby Holiday. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Artan on the BBC One Extra stage tomorrow at 10 to four. There we go, so that's four artists that we've never heard of. We're gonna go in with open minds yeah. and ready to explore. Because I don't think Leeds Festival would book a shit lineup. So let's give it a whirl. Only one thing on her mind. She wants a vodka and Tony two cubes and ice. So it's Thursday. We're prepping to go to the arena. We've got Piccadilly later. It's really important to smell nice at a festival, especially when we're performing for you lot. This year, I've got a little present for me and the boys. Might have snuck it in. But I've got a little bit of Ted Baker for everyone. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna need got you, you fucking used up the whole bottle, eh? Yeah. We're now spending time outside the camp before Piccadilly. Quite a long time before Piccadilly. We've got like four hours. We're going into the arena. There's some bands on. And four years ago, the arena opened at five. So what we've done is we've not checked if it still opens at five and we're headed down now and it better be opening at five. Well, there's a big queue to get into the arena. Well, that's a good sign. It means we're around the right time. This is probably 75 fans queuing for three days time. Man, I just got checked hard at that entrance. Proper wristband check, like really intense wristband check. Oh, here she is. The greatest of all time. Olivia Rodrigo. Take my picture with Olivia Rodrigo. So the silent disco is 10 quid on top of your already 300 and whatever quid you're paying for your ticket. We pre-ordered five headphones 
and with deposit it was 150 quid that we had to shell out now we're not going to collect them right now because look at this queue all right the first band of the weekend on the thursday art is called what baby bby or oh, just into uh, just in beaver There's a lot of ways that you can utilize your own festival wristbands. I've seen some good executions, I've seen some bad executions. This is my personal execution, mid-tier. This is the best I've ever seen. It's been a long time since I've used a general admission shitter in the arena of Leeds Festival. But here we are. I told the guys I'd be five minutes, the wipe's gonna take longer than that. The Lord must have been smiling down on me today because it weren't that bad. And that has been a comprehensive toilet review. Right guys, we've got a big night ahead of us, okay? We're doing this thing called Piccadilly, I think. So, uh, don't worry about it. But we need a strategy plan for it, okay? Yep. And I think I've come up with one that might just work for us. Get fucked up. Okay, I'm listening. And have a good time while we do it. We're hanging out near the guest campsite. Not in it, but near it. We know they need to go to Piccadilly and, and take the van. So we're hoping we can get into their camp and deface it and really show them who the real rock and roll stars of this festival are. Unfortunately, they're sat on their ass doing fuck all. Hopefully we can still make that happen at some point during the weekend. During the weekend. There she is. The holiest stage of all God, festivals, there is, there is the Leeds Fest main stage. It's truly just something wonderful about it. Like it really is the one in it. So many memories of. I, I remember the first Leeds Fest I came to, and it was the Black. Yeah, uh, the Carling weekend main stage, and it truly is like a great stage. I'm not being funny. It's absolutely Baltic this year. Hey, it's cold, isn't it? God, it's fucking Baltic. Jay was trying to sit me up, but I think we've established why maybe this was on sale for. 800 pounds when I bought it first. It is freezing. Oh, should we go on Dodgems? I know what's warm. Should we go on Dodgems? I know what a warm as right. Up. Let's get on Dodgems there. Now, I haven't driven an automobile of any kind since I broke my rib at Bennett Coliseum and it's still sore. I'm not really excited about this. Which is what I love being on Dodgems. The best thing is, this way, I'm better than it. Just remember, folks, who won the girl kind at Benny? This guy. <laughs> I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Oh, that was awful. There's a stage at Leeds Fest called Anachronica, and we've never been, but it looks popping off. Oh, I get it, you're in Tomorrowland once. Yeah, and I'll be going again. Here we are, so this is Piccadilly, but we're taking the turn to LS23. Seeing what's going on over there for the first time. Do you know what I'm really excited for? All those people around me keeping me nice and warm. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, yeah please. Man. This looks fucking brilliant, man. This looks awesome. Visuals and sound and lights for Zoe's set looked brilliant, but unfortunately she was pushed back as a last minute kind of lineup related issue, so we can't really spend any time there. We need to go do our thing now. Right, first split second, we're gonna break the fourth wall here. I'm sat here with Raz. Hello, what up? How's it doing? First of all, oh, it's, it's good to be on the, on the uh, best cam video once again. Oh, welcome back, sir. It's good How are you feeling? Oh, gee, man, mate, that's it. That's it, mate. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel like Fucking freezing is how I feel like. Very cold, isn't it? <laughs> 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 
Hit me for my fucking sins. What I'm doing is I'm bringing TPD TV to the people. <laughs> <laughs> so we're about to go and do Piccadilly for the fifth time. My footage is gonna look terrible. And I'll tell you why. Because I've brought the camera that we started the Leeds Fest videos on. This is called a Creative Vado HD. And it's the cheap version of a cheap version of what used to be known as like a vlogging camera in 2008. All the videos on the channel from 2008 to maybe 2014 were shot on this. And I've brought it back as a full circle moment to capture our experience at Piccadilly. So I can't promise what it'll look like, but here it is, and I'm very proud of it. And if it wasn't for this device, maybe we wouldn't be here right now. Maybe we would. Hey, but big up that device, big man. Up the device. Good evening, Leeds! Currently just walking through blue right now to go for a piss and as I'm doing so it's kind of a bit mad because blue is usually a popping camp you know every year it's pretty busy this year I can't believe how much space there is like it really just shows something you work that out for yourself but it's just mad how much space there is. What's going on? It seems we've actually stayed out until it ended. Quite a subdued evening this evening. But um, hey, get me back in my tent. Perfect. Oh, I'm gonna text please. Jake because he doesn't know where we are. Back to the boudoir, general camping. So I got this duvet. I went to get a sleeping bag. And Fat Frank said the duvet will be better. So let's Let's see if it is. Oh, it does feel nice, to be fair. It feels good in here. The duvet is amazing. I had the best fucking night's sleep ever last night. Right then, we've all slept in. Yeah. It's 12 p.m. God, that's so late. I know, but you know what? I'm glad of it, we deserve it. I think 
cleaning your teeth is the the crucial turning point from feeling grim to feeling I agree clean so like you could easily go without like having a shower but if you brush your teeth you'll certainly feel a hell of a lot more cleaner it's really important to brush your teeth today we're using some Danish Pilsner special brew as the catalyst in between the teeth and the paste in which we brush with <laughs> Man's literally gagging over beer. <laughs> just gagging over drinking a beer. <laughs> I literally just woke up, mate, and it's a special beer. Put that toothpaste in your mouth. One fresh boy over here. God, that was easier many years ago. <laughs> How are you feeling, Chris? Pink and white by Frank Ocean, please. How are you feeling? Like a bazillion dollars. The camp expands. I'm off to meet the newest member of our team and I'm actually really buzzing because this person's company has been fantastic this year and it's gonna add a great dynamic to the camp. Hello! Hello. How are you doing? Much better for being here. Finally. Yep. I've heard you had a bit of a ropey journey. Took the piss. Creepy Uber driver made me tip him £25 uh, in front of him. Otherwise, he wouldn't take me any further and kept asking about where my boyfriend was. So, just a perk of travelling alone as a woman. Fuck this guy, everybody. Fuck, Fuck this, this guy. guy. We're off to see our first proper band of the weekend. Our good pals, the OGs, the boys in Don Broco. I haven't seen Don Broco for a long time. Are you excited? Yeah, when was the last time? Leeds Arena this year, but we used to see him. 30 times oh, a year. I saw him then as well. Yeah. I, know. I thought they were in America. I'm surprised. They're doing very well and we're very yeah. happy to hear it. Big up broker. That is dead over there, man. Yeah, is, yeah. Wow. I'd, l I'd love to know the ticket sales for this event, but that's what happens when you imagine a dragon. We want to kick things up properly, all right? So, I want to see a circle pit here and a circle pit there. Open this shit up. Don Broco, a good bit of energy there to start the day off. Great to see him on the main stage. And he has a transmit poster. I'm surprised that they don't clean them off. Now we're off to see, via the bar, the first of our random acts. <laughs> I need a bit of help on this song, yeah? No entrance. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I'm falling, I'm falling. I'm falling, I'm falling. We're walking to me to the late night. I want to kick back and take flight. Yeah! I want to know where it takes from. It takes from. Well, well, well. Look who we have here yeah. in the guest area, eh? Not having a very authentic experience, oh, are you? Here's another close to some main stage. Yeah. Hey, what about you? What are you doing here? Mind oh, your own. Getting a drink. Getting a drink. The queue's, the bar out there the queue's too to... long, bro. Queue's too long, yeah? Queue's too yeah. long. Toilets were as well, man. You forgot man. where you came from, brother. Yeah, well, what's that? The crack lens? Stay crack humble. Lens Stay humble, my boy. <laughs> yeah, Stay humble. Too. Got pizza with some anchovies on. Because I'm feeling adventurous and I want my breath to stink all weekend to keep the girls away. Right now we're off to the introducing stage to see our second special act of the day that we picked out yesterday. Property Grandma's House, who are a Bristol based trio, all female. They sound pretty good, let's see what they like. We never come to the BBC introducing stage. Apart from last year when we saw Bad Boy Chiller Crew here. Apart from last year we saw Bad Boy Chiller Crew. There's quite a lot of talent that's come up through this stage. Here's some of the names, but it's nice to be here. That is great. 
All right, these idiots left the van behind Piccadilly, didn't they? All right, in three, two, one. Oh, no way, look at that. Your cheap Wilkinson's wiper blades are no more. All right, our work here is done. Okay then, shall we go back then? Yeah, before they come and pick the van up. Completable, I'm undebatable, I'm unavoidable, I'm unavoidable, I'm on the toilet bowl, I got a trailer full of money and I'm paid for them. Sounds like he's talking whilst like his mouth is half out of the We've sat around camp and now we're off to see a headliner that none of us want to see. Imagine Dragons. Why did they book Imagine Dragons? Why and not? I'm, I'm ready to have my mind changed, but I've talked a lot of shit on Twitter about Imagine Dragons playing this festival, so it's only right that we go and see them. And I know Chris is excited. You know Chris is that kind of Imagine Dragons fan, isn't he? Chris, Chris is an Imagine oh, Dragons kind of guy. As we walk up to the Imagine Dragons main stage, first thing he says, it's been a long time, Reading. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for standing by us for so many years. Thank you for believing in us. Thank you for being you here. You make me a believer. Right, you're on the spot. I, within five seconds, I want an answer. What dragon are you imagining? Bulbasaurus. My MSI uh, NVIDIA. 1080 has a dragon printed on it, and that's what I think about. What dragon are you imagining? Oh. What dragon are you imagining? The one from the Jackie Chan um, TV show. I'm going with Spyro. It is fun to imagine a dragon sometimes. These are really actually pretty good. <laughs> Messy, and I'm embarrassed that I've them for about eight months. They're absolutely fucking sending it tonight. It's actually quite good. She is the main headliner, Billie Eilish. I can't wait, mate. You don't have to, she's coming on now. For some reason, at Leeds Fest, like Billie Eilish has only just come on, it's 10 to 10, and they've shut the bar at the main stage. So I've come to Guest Bar, and I'm lucky enough I can do that. But why would they not just keep the bar open? Why like, that's mental. Alright, it's time for the silent disco. Something that we've been looking forward to all weekend. Hopefully they've got toilets in there because I need a piss. Time, but I never lived to lie, cause you never did, never paid any mind to my brother or friend. So I shut them all out for you, cause I Hey, they could have saved the booking fee and just booked you. You ruined everything good. Always said I was misunderstood. Ready for silent disco? Made all my moments Are you ready for alone. Just fucking leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
right, we made it. Here we are. The world's quietest silent disco. And I mean that in the joke. Oh, God, I'm hammered. About us all he used to know. He was a skater boy. He said, see you there. Look outside at the rain clouds come and say, oh. ba da ba a D D D D Greenish on fire. Your defense is terrified. Greenish on fire. Na, 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 The silent disco tonight is very good. I wish there was just a bar in here. Put a bar in here and that's all you need. You don't need like a big one. Just when we like two members and stuff. <laughs> got gravy all over my socks and <laughs> <laughs> but I just wanted to let you know that the best thing that you can buy when you're at a festival and you're going to bed is a Yorkie. Fuck the burger. Fuck any noodle shit. The, the Yorkie is something that's going to let you go to bed full and satiated. <laughs> nice. <laughs> No, I'm, oh, not done. I'm not done. I'm Sorry. not done. I'm not done. Just checking out the socks. The Yorkie. It's a mashed potato in there as well. Oh, <laughs> nice. I would really love the mashed potato. I'm also on TPD TV. We had an organic night tonight <laughs> in the silent discotheque. Do you know what? It it, it was all right. It was. it was all right. We're now off to this thing called it's bed bedtime. We're here live with a, a random festival goer. Excuse me, love, what's your name? Mary. Okay, Mary, and have you had a good weekend, say? Yeah? Yeah. But are you ready for two more days of that, say? No, not no. really. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah, she's ready. Let's fuck yeah. go. A rare seven inch that you could only get if you pre order the, uh, the deluxe that's 45 quid. It is a real mess in my tent. <laughs> I need to get my shop in order. Now it's time for the shower. You can hear Sam Fender sound checking in the background. Just checking it still sounds boring, and in fact, it probably does. I'm ready for it tonight. Should be a good one. Good vibe. Uh, this is maybe the longest I've gone without showering all year. Four days now. And I don't feel great about that. But everything else is great, so. Very Unfortunately, you're going through the same issues I had yesterday, and nobody had any. You got any squares? Apart from you four. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, no. I don't really know why we're listening to the speaker when we've got this lovely wind-up camp radio. Um, this was six pounds, if you can believe it. So, AM or FM, Chris? FM. FM. I knew you were an FM kind of guy. Let's, let's get winding it. <laughs> Just stick to this. <laughs> yeah. I was about this for the real deal, the real experience. I've got a little issue with my uh, blood called haemophilia, which means uh, it doesn't clot very well. And Didums here decided to whack his leg on the dash of a Dodgems car. Thought I'd leave it a couple of days, thought it'd be fine. Turns out, not fine. Need to go to hospital for an injection. So here I am, got a taxi for 25 quid. I'm sure the guys are having a really fun time without me. But you know what? Aussie vibes, we move. The Jordans aren't looking too fresh for the first time ever. You know what you have to do when you're cleaning the kicks to make them look fresh. You only have to clean the white bits and then they look good as new. I can't remember who taught me that. Can I join your fruit winders? I will be in five minutes when I've raveled them all up. Raveled them all? <laughs> <Unraveled>. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy it. Is that nice? It is nice. It's like there's a lot more room in my mouth. Perfect. No room to talk. Oh my god, that is disgusting. I can't separate it. Right, so Keep them separated. It back to the <laughs> Sticking together is what good fruit winders do. Do it on top. What? Is that alien? Just stick back together. 
as a fellow Middlesbrough Football Club fan, I am not enjoying today in the slightest. Why are all these stupid little idiots wearing all these Newcastle shirts? Fuck Newcastle, man. Trips into arena to see Yumi at six on this stage. We show up, Seagulls are on, who were meant to finish half an hour ago. And it like, literally says there, Yumi at six should be on right now. But like, look, man, like, what is this? What the fuck's going on here? Like, have I made a mistake? No, that's what it says, because they should have finished at 10 to two, and it's now quarter to three. That is very strange. They are IDing hard at this bar. Good God, they're really kind of researching this lass's ID here. And I actually don't have my ID on me, so fingers crossed. All right, we're seeing our random act of the day, MC Gemby Olapido. Oladipo, sorry. <laughs> Oladipo on the alternative stage. Hopefully they're on at the time that the app says. It does say they're only on for five minutes, which is interesting. Go on, Jay, go on. Show the people your look, man. Hey! <laughs> this guy's great. You sure? Rockstar Jesus, any more than 100? No? Turns out the guy we were going to see is just the person who introduces the act, but he was very funny and he took the piss out of Jake. So we're going to stick around for the comedian. It's, good. It, it, it's very nice to be here only because I appreciate not being like at a wedding. We just had we just had a good experience in there that we wouldn't have had if we wouldn't have played that game choosing randomers on the act. Yeah, but you enough. do know that wasn't who the randomer was. No, I know that. The guy, the compare is, but, but Big Up, I certainly couldn't do that. I got called a wanker on stage. I Big Up, uh, that is, I think that, I think that is the the hardest thing to do. I think that's the hardest thing to do. I really appreciated that, Rob. You were like laughing at all like the jokes. So we're kind of, I thought, more geared toward women. A once in a lifetime opportunity here, Chris. Now some of you may have picked up on the fact When this album came out, me and Chris went to a signing in HMB in Manchester 2010. We met these boys. I got a copy of Sinners Never Sleep signed. Remember that? And when we were in the crowd, somebody came up to us and said, Do me a 60s kid. What are you doing? Has it gone? What are you doing? I'm not even scared at Wasp, but if I get stung on neck, then I'll look to, like the lad from Imagine Dragons. And then all lasses will want to crowd around me and that. But I'm not really asked for that. So, is it gone? Yeah, it's yeah. gone. Fuck the Wasp. some good news and some bad news. Good news is, staff at St James's were excellent, as always. I've been looked after. I've had the injection I needed, and they've given me some uh, <coughs> tablets to take as well. The bad news is, I've been told that I need to go on a bed rest and put an ice pack on. It's not so good. Decisions need to be made. Do I risk it all, go back to the festival, and obviously have a great time, or do I go home and that's the end of Leeds Fest for me. On this occasion, I had to come back to see Fender. Whoever's dealt with the app this year has really dropped the fucking ball because we got the notification saying that there's two on and then Jake's app says they're on at six. This isn't them. But unfortunately, we can't build that into our schedule. But the whole point of the app is so you can schedule your day and know what's going on. And to be fair, we've had a good day. We've had a really good day. But the app being wrong has kind of fucked Yo, our fuck shit. Fuck fuck it's kind of fucked our shit up. So 
Bit annoying. Hey, he's a wanker, wasn't he? Yeah. Sorry about that, lads. I'm just very excited to see the 1975 tomorrow, like. I'm starting to flag a bit now. I think I'm a bit too hot. I've had my food, I've got a water, and I've got obviously 10 Carlsbergs, so, so hopefully that should sort us out. Just got the notification again that Coven's on in 15 minutes, but you just don't know what to believe. It is very annoying. I'm sure it was a great show. All right, here we are back at camp. Woo! Has the chair been nicked? And the answer is no. It feels like a safe festival from my perspective. It does. I mean, there is a apparently a dodgy uh, D-I-U-G going around that. Because we haven't seen a lot of people passed out um, this year, I feel. <laughs> but the safest way to take them is not, to just not, not take them at all. Absolutely. But here we are. We left that here. No one's nabbed it. I feel very comfortable. I'm going to sit down and not fucking move for two hours. Does that include your mouth? Yes, I hope Perfect. so. Perfect. Can I have the speaker? Yep. Can I play some tunes? Yep. We've kind of come up with an idea now that we're going to actually go home tomorrow and take all of our stuff so we can go have a big blowout tomorrow night. So that means we've still got a lot of drink to drink. Now, we've actually got a lot of spirits. So we've actually got some of these pouches where we just... It's a, it's a plastic bottle. Yeah, it's a plastic bottle. Listen, listen. Did you pass that in? Of course I did. I got bees in science, mate. Boom. <laughs> 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 There's more vodka than Sam Pelly going it, in there. Oh, oh yeah, okay. sorry, I forgot about that. <laughs> After a few hours chilling at camp, it's time to go and see Sam Fender. Now, we've seen him a couple of times this year and we've not been impressed, but once again, we're drawing a clean slate and Imagine Dragons was so impressive that I'm actually looking forward to Sam and I think and I hope he'll do a great job. First things first, we've got to return our silent disco headphones to get our 20 quid back. Feeling all right? Yeah, I'm just trying to drink this before we go in. It's quite a lot of vodka, sample. Good luck. I don't want another night like last night. No, I really we don't can't either, do, it. do we, Chris? Absolutely not. Uh, will be, no I will be frequenting the Yorkie again. Shit! <laughs> I don't know who Tottenham is, but I'm starting to hate him. You don't know who Tottenham is? I've never seen him. This is fucking party night now. Party night now. I came to Leeds when I was 18 years old, and I fucking got blackout drunk watching Kasabian right here. And I got lost. Me I too, Sam. Me too. <laughs> bigger crowd than Billie Eilish and I'm very surprised about that. I didn't think he had a massive following they but obviously he does. Absolutely like... massive mate. Let's see you fucking move Lisa, let's see what you can do. This one's called the ball. Literally. No, Ben, that should be you. That should be you. <laughs> when Raz dressed as a raver at Tomorrowland, he put this on my wrist. And it's been on my wrist since Tomorrowland. And it's finally about to come in handy. <laughs> whoa, 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 that's less than two me eyes. How are you, the lads, lady? Make the noise.
stayed through your entire set. I'll tell you what, we had a great time. That was brilliant. All right, we're going down to Piccadilly. Bottle of Dizzerano in pocket. Alanis Morissette, I'm coming for you next. Right, so just see Fender. We're at Piccadilly Party. And I don't know about you guys, but I think it's about the time to take it back to 2015. So you know we've got everybody? Yeah! We've got a very special drink for everybody. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's go, yeah. baby! Yeah. You get a spread of ice! You get a spread of ice! You get a spread of ice! I can't quite... earlier about getting Yumi at six tattoos. Well tonight we're in the tattoo parlor at Piccadilly baby. You spelled married wrong. Hey that's the biggest cock on his body. <laughs> I'll donate to the poor. <laughs> we got one thing coming. Do you know what? We've been out tonight since, uh, well, it's 10 minutes past three in the morning. And um, I'm absolutely fucking hammered. I look terrible by design. It's been brilliant. And what has been really good about this um, double campsite thing is like when you do see like Raz, you realise how much of your best mate he is. Big up Raz. It's been nice seeing you. And Chucky. It's been great linking up with them boys accidentally. It's like running into an old friend because they are legitimately some old friends. Now I'm going to try and find my way back to the camp on my own. And I'm not going to be very good at that. This girl has been faithful to me until the end. And it's the only girl I need. And it's this tent right here. You know what's really shit? When you realise you've been filming everything in time lapse. <laughs> so it just speeds it all up. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie. I came looking... Oh, I just spilled my liquid death all down on my sleeve. But I really came looking for for um, just a Yorkshire pudding. All I wanted was a Yorkshire pudding. You know how much I love that. And unfortunately, I, I really did think there'd be one in every camp, but there wasn't. I had to walk a significant amount of time. And I didn't quite realise because I was with Chuck and Raz, we were having a laugh on the way. And it was, I didn't realise quite how long it was. And now they've fucked off. By the way, without saying goodbye, they just fucked off. They just literally left me. I was speaking to somebody who watches the channel. Next thing I know, I'm on my own. And it's like, fuck, right, I'm on my own. I got to navigate my way back to uh, Purple. And you know what? That's fine. I quite enjoy that. I quite enjoy the challenge of like, it's a bit adventurous. It's like, well, I fell in Ben Kasim. Like, you know what? I'm on my own. It's a bit gnarly. But really, the, um, the, the, the sausages, what was it called? The, I'm off my head. Coaches. What does that say? I can't even read that. I don't have my glasses on and I'm drunk it makes it worse something we can guess buses alright well what am I meant to do there I'm just trying to chill I'm not coach 
I'm not a weekend get well, I am actually. Sauna residence. I'm trying to just get back to. Sorry, where you? Yeah, you're up. Where you gonna go? To Purple Camp. Say again. Purple Camp. Purple. Say again. I've really just gone on a stray ass walk. I just wanted to yeah. put in. And I ended up coming out to somewhere I just can't really... Okay, I called my supervisor. Oh, well, you don't have to do that. Yeah. No, I know that. Like, can I just walk? Can you just point me in the right direction? Right direction? Yeah, like, where do yeah, I go? go there, eh? Oh, well, that's Take fine, it. then. It's okay. just a ten minute walk. Ten minute walk? Yeah. Oh, six. Yeah, yeah go. Yeah, no need to close you, but thank you, then. That's it. Oh, that's a TV program. Lion, uh, there's a lot of cars coming down here. You know what? I just feel like this is not the way, man. Oh, it's a buggy. That, that was a buggy. If you see that, God, I need to just be straight into the headlights. Um, not lying, the courage and the cowardly dog. Oh God, eh? I'm just I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I never, not that I never thought I'd get out, but that just took so long. It took so long, and it was so trying. I have no concept of where we can, to be honest. Literally not at all. Oh, it's too big, we can't fit in cars. Who's we got there? Awkward, what's up in your tent? Good morning. It's Sunday. We made it. We're taking the shit home. And then we're gonna come back. And rock the fuck out, baby. All right. Stuff, uh, that was very hard. Yeah. But as we stand here at the oh, car, well, listening to the 1975 sound check, a song called The Sea that I haven't seen live for years, I'm reminded how good of a day it's going to be. It feels good to be sat back on my throne at home. A couple of hours. Baths running, getting, freshening up for the fucking after party. Good idea, eh? Very good idea, mm -hmm. that yeah? I'm hard. All right. Okay. Everyone feeling go. fresh. Oh, oh, it's 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 again. Dropped his frugo. Dropped the frugo. And the good news is the taxi's here already. What do you mean the taxi's here already? We don't have to wait. But we've got these drinks to well, drink. Well, you better see it off then. Quick. Frugal, frugal, frugal give us a wurgo. Oh my god. Oh, I just wouldn't go down. Wow. Nice work. Frugal, frugal, give us a wurgo. Scooch me out of there somewhere. Possible. There we go, we're in. We just got an Uber. Bless him. He was lovely, but he didn't know what the fuck he was doing. Longest Uber ride. It literally took almost an hour, and it only cost 15 quid. So we had to send him a tip to try and make it a bit more correct for the, because it's normally like, we've paid like 80 quid for this trip before. The sniffer dog just got three people out of the queue, which is not good for them. On the bloody turns out easy life I play him, which are a personal favorite of mine. And I'll tell you what, absolutely fantastic set. We're off to sea. Nothing but thieves, again. But you know what? They're very right good. Me. Their cover of Crazy is brilliant. I highly recommend listening to that if you haven't already. Are you ain't up that Jack Wills sale? I mean, Jack Wills. Well, where's the sale? I don't see it says sale. So you were looking for it. For the grand finale of the weekend, we're gonna merge the two camps because we need to do a prestigious event, the TPD Award. And then we're all gonna enjoy the 1975 
and the killers. And I'm going to place a bet now that my bride is probably going to go home early. But it is what it is, isn't it? Not everyone's built the same. Some people are much fatter. Here we are again. Oh, look at this. La di da. Ivory camp. God, King so dead. So dead. Before we did this video, I was a little bit skeptical. Just because it's been a long time since we camped in Gen Pop. But you know what? I have had one of the best weekends I've had in a very long time. Certainly one of the best Leeds Fest I've had in a long time. It's been brilliant and I've certainly not missed the luxuries of these showers over here. Because you know what? My water carrier does the exact the same job. Well, well, well. Right. Is this what this is here then, eh? Pumped, bump, bumped, bump, 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 bump. Well, ladies and gentlemen, members of TPD, boys and girls at home, <laughs> it is time for the Notorious TPD Award. Not notorious about it. The TPD Award will be handed out in next week's Leeds Fest guest camp video. Let us know in the comments who you want to win. Fugs, I'm hammered and I'm so happy that you're joining us at this point in the festival for the 1975. I know you've seen it all before, but it's very important to me and every one of the gang is coming which is great so i'm really really happy about that it has been fantastic <laughs>
just tonight, but for the last fucking 10 years, this festival and the people that put it on mean so much to us. And my heart is full, Jake Barley's heart is full, the boys' heart is full, and we're gonna go and get fucked up. But before that, let's have a little bit of emotion. Lisa and this is what I've missed Sunday night walking through the euphoric crowd everyone's happy and um, yeah big up man I'm so so grateful to be here because of you people watching this video Shout out security for sending me and Chris down this road on foot. This is the where way we're not meant to this be. Is, this is the way to go. You just, just walk down here and you will. This is the exit and you'll get a taxi there. Okay, let's see. Here we are, mate. We made it. I mean, I guess so. <laughs> this is what we mate, wanted. When you say road. Made it, right, now we'll book an Uber to you. We got on a random bus with no ticket. This is way <laughs> Straight to Liverpool. God help us. <laughs> Where the fuck are we going, man? <laughs> Chris, how have we ended up on this random bus? Nice one, mate. Have a good one. Have a good one. A quick question. Yeah? <laughs> Where the fuck are we? What? What do you mean? You're on the north or the south? That is the least helpful um, sign. Duh. We shouldn't have left the festival because by le by accidentally leaving the festival, we're now in a village with no support line. If we if we fell asleep at the festival on the floor, someone would help us. But instead, we're here. Where the fuck is oh, this? I'll tell you exactly where we are. What do you mean you don't know it? <laughs> Ah! 
today. Well, I'm very, very happy to be sat in this taxi. We've had a wild journey this evening. Good God. Truly a full circle. We started this video on the bus, and guess where we're ending it, Ben? Listen, I don't know about you. I drove to Leeds Fest. I wanted to drive from Leeds Fest. Yeah, here I am. We're on a bus, baby! Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Well, what a weekend that was. I cannot believe how good this Leeds Festival was, and it's purely because we took things back to basics. Never again are you going to catch me in a Leeds Fest guest camp with 20 people. Now, I haven't seen what the other camp has been up to. I haven't got to that yet. Dan's actually doing the first pass edit of that, or he should be. Fast forward to me probably doing it, but... I reckon there's no way they had a time anywhere near as good as us. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for being part of this journey. It's not stopping. I just wanted to recognise how important this festival has been to us all and how seminal it has been as we have gone through the years. There's builders drilling outside. It's fucking well annoying. Thank you so much to the people on the screen, our supporters on Patreon. Without you, we literally couldn't do this. We wanted to do this video without a sponsor as well, so it just felt even more authentic. So you are the only support financially for this piece of content, and we really fucking appreciate it. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next week. I say we'll see you. You can see what the rest of the gang got up to. Thanks and good night. Is it Lord or Lordy? <laughs> L M Mastodon. Put it back on. Jesse.